kitchen where I had some times played chess And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage flame But all complexions that I adore So hard to find, they seem impossible to score So I dream of When we first moved into the house, I did a ticking stripe on the back of my hutch, and then I did one on the front of my buffet table. And I, as much as I love loved the look of it, it's not substantial enough, and I really want to make it bigger. So my thought was, I'm going to pull all these drawers out, and I want it to look kind of similar to this. So I want a big tape where the stencil was and that's going to be my widest part, okay? And then I'll make my narrow strips on either side. I may not do the two strips or the two narrow stripes on either side. I may just do a large stripe with two narrow, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, painter's tape and I'm only uh, I'm only going to do Hey bear, hey bear bear. Um, I'm only gonna do uh, just this side. I'm not gonna do any more. So let's see. That's what I was afraid of. Let me shut the drawers. I was hoping I could leave the drawer open and it would allow me to do it that way, but it's gonna be difficult. So I was planning on like being able to tape and then pull and do this side, but since um, I have such wide painter's tape, I'm gonna have to do it two, two separate ways. So I'm going to paint my blue all the way down this, and then we'll go back and paint my side stripes, okay? Bear wants to be the star of this show today. So he's gonna sit right here with me like he always does. But I am going to use my Sherwin-Williams uh, Stardew, and that is the exact same color that I used on my ceiling in the dining room. And I love this color. It's kind of a blue gray, and that's what I like about it. And 
and it doesn't have to be perfect, y'all. It doesn't. Always gets his ear in my pain. <laughs> Watch your ear, buddy. All right, so I'm gonna let this coat dry and then we'll come back and do another coat. All right, so I have decided to do the back of the hutch the exact same way. So, so this is what it looked like before. I didn't even have a stripe on the top. On this side, I'm adding the stripe on the top and I am painting all of that where I had it kind of rough, where it wasn't solid white. I did all white. I think it's crisper and I'm gonna do the center the same way, I think, or I'm gonna do the blue and white uh, wallpaper, which I think with my stuff, it would not stand out very pretty. Now with my white, it might, but not with my blue willow. So I have it all taped off again. I'm going to paint it blue and then go around and paint all of this messy that I did to make it look more distressed because I think it looks better. to show y'all the living room kitchen area we have the walls up on this side we need to finish the ceiling because we have to do lights we have all the appliances and the kitchen cabinets and once again there's the half bath but I kind of wanted to give y'all an update on how the house was coming along we have the tile man here doing the shower surround so I'm thinking it's really coming together. Now we've got to work on finishing touches and I get to do that with you guys. <laughs> 